No more me to just everybody, this is Zen Monkey bringing you all the events that lead to the obtaining of Sugar Land. And if you're playing as Lu Bay, you should have this event pop up around autumn of 205. If you have this event pop up uh, at a different date, let me know with your comments below. So it said Su Yu joins. You hear a man singing of waiting for a noble lord in the town, dressed humbly in hempen robes and a turban. He reveals himself to be a great strategist. He is neither fletching phoenix nor sleeping dragon, however, but nevertheless still a man of talent. If, uh, if you don't know who fletching phoenix is, uh, he is Peng Tong, and sleeping dragon is obviously uh, Zhu Ge Ling. And let's see. In the year winter 205, you have another event that pops up saying that Chu Zhu's asked for a meeting and arrives looking distressed. My lord, though I know you still have a need of me, it seems fate have other plans. My mother has sent an urgent message to meet with her and I must leave immediately. Well, leading to this, leading to this event, uh, in the Romance of Three Kingdom novel, Lu Bei was taking refuge in Xin Yi under the banner of Liu Biu. And at that time, Cao Cao sent Cao, Cao Ren to attack uh, Liu Biu, and Lu Bei and his army uh, has a task of defending it. Well, Lu Bei just obtained Chu Zhu, and he is a great strategist. He repelled Cao Ren's strategies one after another, even the surprise night attack. And knowing that Cao Cao admires Chu Zhu very much and he wants Chu Zhu to be in his army and he tried to devise a plan to do so. Okay. Oh hmm, I lost my train of of, of, of thought here. Oh yes, so after Cao Ren was repelled, a uh, time later Liu Biu uh, passed away and left his whole kingdom to his son Liu Kong. And Liu Kong is a very incompetent man and he, yeah, he's afraid of Cao Cao very much and with the urge of his, uh, his uncle, handed the whole kingdom to Cao Cao. Like, at this time, he had a lot of reserves and a lot of, uh, of, of military might. I, I believe he has 50,000 strong and he just handed everything to Chao Chao without even a fight. Knowing this, Liu, Liu Bei have to uh, try to escape. So he took his army and tried to escape from Liu Bei's territory. And at that time, the citizens, they, they admire Xuan Dei so much that they want to follow him no matter where he goes. So, with all these citizens in tow, he, he tried to escape with the pursuit of 5,000 uh, men from Chao Chao's army. And it leads to this great battle at the Changban Bridge where Shang Fei single-handedly repelled Chao Chao and even killing one of his Advi um, I'm not sure if it's advisor or not, but basically Chang Fei gave a big war and the guy just had a heart attack and died. <laughs> and that was, that was epic, okay? Uh, this allowed Liu Bei to escape from uh, Liu Bei's territories. And uh, at this time, Chu Zhu's mother was captured by Cao Cao. And Cao Cao tried to convince his mother to write him a letter telling him to come to Chao Chao's uh, army and his mother basically called Chao Chao a, a traitor of, a, of the Hans and tell him to piss off. Well, Chao Chao was really pissed. He was about to execute her until Chen Yu uh, advised otherwise. And Chen Yu had uh, devised a plan to try to get close to Chu Su's mother and over time he did, 
and he managed to uh, mimic, mimic her, her, her writing style and he forged a letter to Chu Zhu and this is the letter that he received. So Chu Zhu immediately run to his mother's aid or his mother's request because he is a dutiful son. Hmm? And you have two options. You say it's a trap or let let them leave. You have to choose let them leave because Chu Zhu's personality is that he uh, he has a duty to his mother. So if you try to force him to to stay, he will resent you forever. Okay, so choose the second option. And uh, on the spring of 206, Chu Zhu leaves at a magnificent feast is erected outside the city gate to honor Chu Zhu as he prepares to leave. You escort Chu Zhu out and before bidding a tearful farewell, he tells you to seek one called Sleeping Dragon, a man of great genius whose talents at debate exceed his own. Oh sorry, um, I think I'm butchering his name right now, uh, but forgive me. So, he advised Lu Bei to, to find out who this sleeping dragon is. And uh, from history, Xiu Zhu and, and uh, Zhu Ge Leng, they are best friends. Because they live in the same, in the same district, uh, the, the, the Jing district. Right? They, they know each other, so that's why he, he know who, who Zhuge Liang is. And in winter of 206, the Sleeping Dragon event pops up. Your acquaintance who you come to visit after talking of various minor matters, he looks serious. There's a great man and strategist called Zhuge Liang, the Sleeping Dragon. If you wish to gain his aid, seek him at his nearby town. So of course, obviously, Chu Zhu came back and telling, uh, tell Lu Bei to seek out the Sleeping Dragon, and it's it's, it's pretty close by in the province of Qing. So, Sleeping Dragon. So of course, you should uh, heed to his advice, right, and follow the storyline, of course. <clears throat> I think I'm getting the. I'm getting the timeline mixed up here. Huh? Anyways, in the spring of 209, you get the first visit event. You approach the cottage of Master Sleeping Dragon and knock on the door. His servant answers but regrets that his master is not at home. Should you return another time, he may be in. So He's a, he's a very secluded person, um, so he doesn't want to serve anybody, right? He just want to stay in his cottage, enjoy his life, travel the world, you know, and uh, discuss politics with other um, other scholars. But and on the second visit it happens in the summer of 207, you return to Sleeping Dragon's cottage for the second time. You meet Yuga Jun, his brother, as well as his adopted father, but not the elusive one himself. This is becoming frustrating. Oh, well, no matter how frustrating it is, it is a sleeping dragon, and Liu Bei at this time is desperate for an advisor, so he promised to return. Yeah, without an advisor, Lu Bei cannot get to where he is. He cannot rely on his brother's powers because no matter how strong you are in battle, without strategy, you you are destined to fail. Right? On the third visit, you return for a third time to the cottage, cottage of Sleeping Dragon. This time, he is at home, but. Uh, asleep, determined to speak to him, you patiently wait for him to, to rise. 
Though at first he refuses, you manage to persuade him of the importance of his counsel, and he agreed to help you. This is when you obtain Yugale and the Sleeping Dragon. Well, I was really excited to uh, to obtain the Sleeping Dragon, and he started at a very high level, level seven, to be exact, right? And he have various uh, buff and debuff and active skill, like like any other uh, strategist. Well, at first I was really excited, but then when I look at his military unit, I was I was disappointed, to be honest. Like I would, I, I I thought in my mind he would has he would have some kind of like these uh the flaming tigers in 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 the novel, or like you know those big big uh, bows like in the Game of Thrones that kills the dragon, you know those ones. I was ex expecting that he have some kind of units like that, but he end up to have units the same as any other strategist, nothing special. Right, and I was I was really disappointed because I was expecting something better uh, from his uh, from his unit, and even from his skills, I was expecting something like um, the wooden ox skill, or uh, that allow him to go into enemy's territory uh, without having to uh, suffer uh, the loss of military supplies. That, that would be a Great, you know, addition to his his passive skills, and it would make sense, right? But he doesn't have that, and I, I don't know. I was I was really disappointed. And he joined your force uh, at the age of 26. He had the trade of buildings, cunning, uh, and humble. They they are good traits, right? That allow him to not wanting uh, a better position in the in the court, uh, keep him satisfied for a long time. So uh, they're all good, but in general, I, I would love to to have like special unit for Yugaling and and special uh, buff or debuffs because all of these trade or the skills. They are basically the same as everybody else, uh, except for, I guess his 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 dragon sight skill, which allow him to see um, plus five thousand range, or and also see in the forest. So, uh, it's not very useful unless you want to know like whether the enemy have guerrilla forces behind you hitting the forest or something like that. But other than that. Uh, it's pretty meh. Um, so that's it. That's how you get Sugar Lang. And if you like this video, please comment below and also let me know uh, how you like Sugar uh, Lang in your force and uh, how you use him. Uh, so let me know in the comment below. Thank you very much for uh, for watching this video. Subscribe if you enjoy this. Thank you very much. Uh, so um, I'll see you in the next video. I'm more me to this. Send monkey out. Bye bye.